How are we doing folks? Right, so yes, yeah, so I haven't got my webcam today, so unfortunately I'm on the classic IKS camera. The Sony Action Cam, the original one from 2016. Yeah, as you can see, I've just got up. Um, so yeah. Oh, yeah, excuse me. Oh. Wow, yeah. Crazy times we live in, folks. I hope everyone's doing well and safe and all that stuff, folks. Um, so yes, uh, I was going to have a look at some Olight torches, folks. I've got a few Olight torches here. Uh, a small selection. I don't know where the other ones have gone. No. So I'll show you my best one and uh, and the second best one and why they're the best. Right. So this one here. This is the original Olight torch. This is the SR Mini Intimidator 2. See it on the back there. This is the best camera torch, so to speak, I've ever used. This thing here. Because it's got a nice beam. It's not a pointed beam, it's a flood. So it floods it out at the end. But it's really powerful. I think it's like 3,500 lumens. But I mean, this torch is indestructible. I've had this since 2016. Look at this. Batteries in it come out. Look. Absolutely crazy. And inside there you can see. You can't, can't go wrong with it. And all that. Lanyard and all that stuff, folks. Let's pop these back in. Da, da, da. They all go in one way as well. So that's quite cool. And you've got a thing at the back there. So, And it goes in at one position. Boom, boom, boom. But yeah, use this many years, many years. Pretty much all of the 2016 videos. Uh, yeah. Without this torch, the videos would have would have struggled, folks. Indeed. So, uh, and it's USB rechargeable there. You can see that? I've lost a. It was a red. Not a, it was a red light there. When it's charging, it's red, and when it's fully charged, it's green. But there's a little uh, plastic bit that went in there, and that unfortunately fell out. So I stuck a bit of glue in there. Um, but yes, still going strong. This torch had no problems with it at all. Chucked it about, dropped it, it's been in my pocket, it's fallen out onto the concrete. See, it's all chips on it there and that. Yeah. So, yes, I highly recommend this torch, folks. If you can get this, if you do videos and stuff like that, exploring or any sort of videos, this is the best torch. It's got a nice colour to it. It's not, you know, it's not um, like an orange colour or anything like that. It's, it's white, but it's it's a good white. You know, check out the uh, the channel, folks, and, um, and see some of the old videos there, 2016. And um, yes, Olight, you know, they're not uh, paying me for this or anything like that, folks. This is just um, this one I bought myself, and they did send me some other torches years ago, uh, which we're going to talk about. But uh, this one I paid £130 for around that sort of stuff. So, yeah, that's that one, folks. The best torch, best you can buy, I'd say. There is a more powerful one, I can't find it at the moment, I don't know where it's gone. Uh, but it's, um, what's it called, it's it's about, is it 8,000 lumens? Nine, no, 9,000 lumens, I'm sure it is. No. Anyway, with all the information on these torches, I'll put some links in, in the description, you can check them out, check out the torches folks, check out the, uh, the the specs, I might be off of the specs, I haven't got anything open, it's just a quick video, you know, so, a little review there folks. Um, uh, the Olight, a couple of years ago, something like that, they sent me this torch. This is a Warrior. The Warrior X, as you can see there. Nothing wrong with this torch, highly powerful. There's no buttons on the side. Uh, it's, it's recharged by... If I can get it. Ah, stuck in the... Stuck in a charger, folks. It's charged by that. So that goes. And then you plug it in the USB. And it charges that way. It's cool. It's cool. The only downside to that is that when you're exploring, it gets rust in that inside there, and it's hard to get out. And it does malfunction it sometimes. Um, but this is a pinpoint. I think they use this for shooting as well. This is more of a shooting torch. It's like a pinpoint, like a circle, like a um, a LED lenser torch. It's uh, it's a pinpoint. Um, 
I've used it a couple of times. I don't recommend this 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 torch for um, videos or anything like that, folks, because you you know it's just the same as a bloody uh, LED lens then. So yeah, Warrior X. Not bad, not bad. It's robust. It's robust. You know, when it comes with a it's battery there, folks, isn't that? So. They're strong torches, they're absolutely strong. You know, there's nothing wrong with these torches. You chuck them about. I reckon you could chuck that, bang, so hard to the ground and it'd survive it. Not going to do that, but, you know, it's one of them. Right, this is another torch. Uh, what? I don't even know the name of some of these ones. There. This is a, this is a fl another flood one. This is not a pinpoint, I don't, yeah, it's a flood one. Uh, and this one is called, look, I've got something stuck on the end of that one. That's a spring or something, on there. No, no, it's a screw. See, there's a downside there. That is a, again, magnet connector. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool, pretty cool. But again, it does attract um, metal sources. It's a um, rust and stuff, folks. So this one is called, this is No Light M2R. Oh, M2R Warrior. Oh right, I didn't know that was called that. And this has got a button there, and also, well, I need to bump my eyes out then. I think that. Oh no, I thought it did that. No, I thought there was a little red light on that. It might have. I might be might be going dead, but on there, sometimes it shows green if it's fully charged, or or when it's going dead, it flashes red or something like that. That's not a bad torch, folks. Not a bad one. I've not really used it in the field. The only one I've used in the field most is this one. This is the most practical one you can buy. Indeed. I have seen the, you know, Tom, uh, the website designer, he's got the massive, uh, well, his brother's got the massive uh, 22,000 uh, oh, uh, 22, lumens or something like that torch, and it's massive. It's powerful, but when it gets to a point where you're filming and, you, and, you're, and your aperture closes because it's so bright, so it needs to close a bit because it's too bright. I've noticed that. Um, so yeah, that's the the warrior. The, no, not, what am I talking about, folks? That's the O light M two R warrior. Yeah, mad, isn't it? Mad. And this torch, this is one of my favourite torches. It's like, have you seen that? Have you played that game Silent Hill? Silent Hill game. What's going on with my beard, folks? Look at this. Bloody hell. Have you played that game Silent Hill, folks? This torch reminds me of that. Where you clip it in your pocket. It's got a clip on it. Yeah. This this is the the H2R Nova. This torch is really powerful little torch, actually. I mean, you see the... the the aperture closing up on the camera there because it's just too bright. Look at that. Fair enough, I'm shining it at the, the camera. But yeah. And again, it's the same old, same old jazz. Same as the one, uh, the uh, one I just had there. Look. Oh, they all come out. I think, you know, when you've got a torch that the batteries come out, you can replace the batteries. I think that's more of a an eye opener for folks because. Uh, Batteries don't last forever, and when they go, then how are you going to replace it? You've got to send it back or buy a new one, you know. So this one is a decent flood, and I mean this gets hot. All of them get hot, but this one really gets hot. I mean the end of it gets to the touch, and it's like, ah, bloody hell, Jesus. You know? And, um, yeah, the H2R Nova. This is a head torch, folks. Wouldn't believe it. I'm just going to put it on there for example. It's a magnet that goes on that, but it does strap over, as you can see. It straps over. But, I mean, this is, you know, even Matthew Williams from The Secret Vault, he was sent this from uh, Olight, and um, he, he loves it as well. I just think this is proper little practical torch. You know, it's not as expensive as this one, but this one will do the same job. You know, I'd say. Uh, through night sent me this uh, torch I've done a video on it I'm just gonna chuck it out there it's not a bad torch it doesn't last very long though um, what's it called through night 
the TH01. Yeah. It's a head torch, and I had the problem with the, the head mount like that. This one doesn't have it. The Olight doesn't do that. The Olight is really comfortable. But this one, it had the problem with the, the head thing. So, But again, it's like the Olights. It's, it's the same quality. It's metal. Yeah? It's mad. But the torches I recommend today, folks, I know I've gone on for a bit, but uh, if you haven't got too much, the pro let, me, let me get the, the price... Prices up. Wow, they are. You know the O lights. Oh, for God's sake! O light torches ain't ain't cheap, folks. They're not cheap at all. Um. So this one here, the HR two Nova is going to set you back $89 it says on the website and I'm sure if you, you went around some other places you'll be able to find uh, it a bit cheaper Amazon it pounds 81 pounds and I mean no but this torch is is amazing it really is amazing I know I couldn't recommend it enough um, yeah the H2R Nova recommend that torch folks if you haven't got a lot of cash to spend that one for your explores that'd be cool and also you can get it, charge it up, and put it into a battery bank and keep it charged while you go to your next explore. How smashing could that be? Right, let's go to the, see how much this one is at the moment. Might have come down in price, I don't know. I don't even know if they still sell it, folks. This is the SR Mini. SR Mini. Intimidator. Intimidator 2. Da, da, da. Here it is. 3,200 lumens. And the survey says. No search results found. What? Right, we got. Right, what's this? It's the Olot, the Olot website. What's going on? It's uh, saying it's not available. Oh, bloody hell, it's not available, folks. Look. That's it there. What else we got here? $129. Still there. But if you can get that on eBay or something like that, um, lovely and cheap. We got, no, look. Oh. So I'm not 100. The number one fan's got one of these. He brought one because uh, he liked it so much and uh, he struggled to get it, I think. I think uh, I don't know if they're stopping uh, selling it or what, but you know the alternative. Where's it gone? This one, the Nova. If you can't find that one, you know, and you want to spend a bit of money. Uh, it's going to be about a hundred, a little bit, about over a hundred pounds. It's going to be about I don't know, hundred and ten, hundred and twenty pounds surely. Um, if you can find that, great. It's going to be a great investment for your videos, folks underground work and stuff like that. If you can't find that one, then this one is going to be the good one, I'd say. Yeah. The buttons on the top there. It's got all different settings on it. If you double tap it, I think that's the full the full mode. And where is it? Ah, where are we going? Just while we got it up. Uh, yeah, the maximum mode on this uh, the Nova is 3000 uh, 2000, sorry. 2,300 lumens, rechargeable and all that, yeah. And that's it folks, I hope you enjoyed that, I went on a bit, but sometimes it's good to do that because, uh, yeah, there's a lot to say, a lot to say. I've got other torches, O-lights, but there you go, that's some there. So thanks very much folks, um, check out Instagram, Facebook and all that jazz, the channel, the iCares channel with all the exploring videos. There's always stuff going on there and I need to trim this beard because it's getting out of control. Uh, check out the, the merch store and all that stuff folks, we can see that. The old merch store, the iCares shirts and that. I'm sure there's, I'm sure I was speaking to Chris the other day and he's got some hoodies coming. Um, so yeah, check all that out. And um, yeah, see you soon folks. Indeed. Indeed.